though one may be aware of different techniques of doing exploratory data analysis, there is always a lingering doubt whether EDA and data analysis are one and the same and if there is any difference, what are the key characteristics that distinguish between data analysis and exploratory data analysis, right? So let's understand this difference between the two before proceeding further uh, with other lectures, right? Data analysis at its core is about finding trends in our data set, right? It can be for descriptive purpose, like you want to know what is really happening in your line of business. If you are, let's say, analyzing the sales data, you may want to know what is the extent of sales, right? In diagnostics, you try to understand why it is happening. Let's say this organization is missing its sales target. So you want to know why the organization is missing its target. Is it coming from a specific product line or a particular region of a country is contributing or whether a particular salesman is contributing to the problem. We are essentially trying to figure out why that has happened, why the problem has happened. We are trying to diagnose the problem, right? That is the diagnostic analysis. The third one is prescriptive. Having known the problem, what is really the solution? How can I improve the sales or how can I make the sales exceed the target given by my organization? So that is prescriptive. So these are the three different types of data analysis that we do, right? Nowadays, machine learning is being used to assist with the three types of data analysis. Before machine learning became widely prevalent, people were deploying other types of tools. Now with the arrival and popularization of machine learning techniques, people are using machine learning to do these three types of data analysis, right? I hope you all understand what is data analysis. Then what is this exploratory data analysis, right? Exploratory data analysis is a philosophy or I would even call it as an approach to make sense of the data, to make the data more valuable for data analysis. Please understand, the objective of data EDA is to make the data more valuable for data analysis. I want to remove missing data. I want to remove outliers. I want to remove multicollinearity. You are going to see about that, right? So EDA is about a philosophy. It's an approach, right? To make the existing data set more valuable with missing data, with outliers, with multicollinearity. What will happen to your data analysis or what will happen to your machine learning model? The accuracy will be low. The reliability of the data analysis will be that much lower, right? What is the most important thing in machine learning? We want higher accuracy, right? Always think from the perspective of end users. End users are using machine learning to take decisions. So machine learning has to be reliable which means the accuracy of machine learning models need to be higher. How are we ensuring that? We are ensuring that through EDA, right? I hope you are clear about the difference between EDA and data analysis, right? EDA uses many different techniques to make the data more meaningful, to make the data more useful for the purpose of building machine learning models or for the purpose of doing data analysis. The techniques I am covering can be used to make the data more useful even for other types of data analysis that is without using machine learning. Are you getting the point? So exploratory data analysis is a very very important concept in machine learning. Okay, it is one of the first few things that you do with your data set. The objective is to have higher forecast accuracy, right?